Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 15 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, as you've just seen, uh, baling has begun. Field 26 has been baled. Field 11 has also been baled. This 42,000 litres, or 42,500 litres, is the barley off of Field 11. I got off of that field to just about 50,000, just over 50,000, because the first 10,000 I fin I did it at the end of the last episode, if that makes any sense. Anyway, and you've also seen me do two contracts. Um, and that was up on... Field one and two, top of the map. Now, when I did the last episode, I couldn't get the contracts to work on there. Um, I saved the game, came out, came back again to start recording, and they were working. So I thought, you know what, mm, I'm going to do the do the contracts on them. Now I've placed a silo pretty much bang in the middle there. Controversially, um, now what I've been doing in my head is kind of working a way around how this all works. You know what I'm doing? I, all I'm doing now is simulating the transport and sale of those goods. Normally you do a contract, the game contracts, and you do a contract for a farmer, you get paid for it, and you know, those crops just kind of vanish. An entire field will go into one harvester, you don't unload it, you don't, you know. So I'm kind of simulating the unloading of that, but doing it into a silo, then the transport and sale. Now, what I'm going to do is with the barley that's going to be supplementing the barley that comes down to here because all the farmers locally are sending barley down here to the maltings as for the canola i've got a contract for canola so i've been paid for the contract on the field when i deliver the canola i won't get paid for that but i will have fulfilled the contract so it's kind of you know i'm, I'm trying to make sure i don't get overpaid or get double paid or do anything you know that i shouldn't be it's just to see if it would work and it did work and you know 
I'm all you know quite happy with that so what I'm going to do is drive up there see what we've got in that silo see what I've got of both of those fields because I'm not 100% certain now what we should have in storage now is 248,000 litres of barley that's pretty good I haven't even started on the harvest on field 20 yet so to be fair I'm not going to be that far short on my 500,000 litres might need to do another field we'll see at the moment I've got it says 48,000 litres of um, canola in storage obviously the storage is all combined so that silo up between one and two will be showing as part of this so yeah we'll have to go up and have a look anyway on the way up there um, I was going to say, oh yeah, a little bit of a shout out only um, to Brandon and JG. Brandon and JG asked me a couple of episodes back, and obviously there's been lots of update videos and you know guide to and various things that have come out um, about how many hours I've got on this game, this this particular save game at the moment. This particular save game, I'm on 48 hours gameplay at the moment. Doesn't seem like a huge amount. I've got, I think, when I did the Valley Old Farm, when I finished that Let's Play. I was on something like 200 hours, but then I did spend, I mean, like a lot of time doing logging on that map off screen. So, you know, thousands of trees, I think 1,500 and something in the end. So, a lot of time was spent doing logging and wood chipping. But anyway, um, I'll see you up at field one and two in a minute. Um, I'm going to have a look and see what I actually got off those two fields, because at the moment it's showing as the combined total and that will need to be transported back down but again you don't need to see that happening that's not too much of a problem I will do the barley but the canola will wait because I can't remember off the top of my head who the canola was for so I will double check it and I'll get back to you to let you know who that was for and also I need to get the harvest underway on field 20 I need to get the bales moved I've leased the bales auto load trailer square bale one and I've got one full load of 24 at the moment I think I did on fields 26 and 11 I'm up to 66 bales and yellow hammer ag wanted 100 they did say they would drop it to 75 but to be fair I'll see what I get off of um, field 20 I reckon I'll hit 100 easily um, so that will fulfill that will be the yellow hammer ag contract complete which means I should get another 125,000 into the bank because they were going to pay me 250,000. Originally, it was 500,000 they were going to pay me for 200 bales, and I said that seemed like quite a lot, so we dropped it down to 250. Um, so I should get another 125. So 125,000 already for the delivery of the round bales. Then it'll be the square bales. If you're, this is the first time you're watching one of my let's plays. I do these narratives, these storylines, I do subscriber contracts, people suggest suggest ideas for me to do and I have a go at some of them, not all of them, it depends what the ideas are and whether it will work with my kind of storyline. Um, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch the Let's Play from the start and it will all make sense. It's like watching a, like watching a series on television and starting through a series halfway through. It just wouldn't have a clue what was happening. Anyway, I said I would see you there, and I've talked all the way here now, so... Sorry. I apologise for me wittering on. So as you can see, these two big fields, and they are big fields. I put it... Originally, I was only going to do the barley. Then I thought, you know what, I'll have a go at the canola and see how that will pan out. It didn't do too bad. So, if I click on that... Barley, 73,000 litres I've got off that. That's not too bad. And canola, 45,000. So I must have had about 3,000 litres already in storage. So that's what's in these two here. So what I will do, I'll fill up the barley. That'll go down to Milson's Maltings as well. You don't need to see me transfer that down. Like I say, the canola will stay in this grain bin for the time being. I did get paid for both these contracts. So I've no intention of making money off of the transport of the uh, the product itself and then we'll get on to the rest of the harvest transferring the first lot of bales down to the docks um, else? right
I shall see you in a little while. Time is getting on. The sun will be setting soon, so I need to get some of these jobs done. Or at least underway. Oh, this is slow to turn. So we're coming up on field 20. And I've missed the turning again. It's because the lamppost actually moved around here. I'll just swing it up a bit. Um, that's better. The sugar cane is still growing. I'm hoping this balmy summer we're having in the UK is going to make sure it grows okay. It's unusual. Don't normally do it in the UK, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, first strip is running up the side. I did separate the two crops with a tiny little gap and it seems to be working very, very nicely. Leave that there. This thing is just <laughs> still sounds phenomenal. The baler's back up here. This has been leased. I'm only doing square bales for this contract. All the other bales I do, if I do any others, are all going to be round. It was just that I was asked specifically for square ones for this particular contract. Why have I gone for this one? There are loads and loads of different square balers I could use. It's cheap as chips. I think it's only 12000 to buy. Um, so leasing it was next to nothing. That's why I kind of went for that one. I know I've used it before, but I used it a lot because it works well. Works well, looks good, cheap as chips. Um, which is perfect. Yeah, this seems to be growing really nicely. We're going all right, going all right. It's going to take a while, but we are getting there. The harvester appears to have vanished. I'm hoping it's not driven down the beach and into the sea. I think it's turning around. You can just about see the roof right over there. If we wait here carefully and patiently, we should see it come over the brow of the hill any moment. Or not. Like I said, if it's gone off into the sea, it will never come back. That's it. That was a waste of money. To say that this is mildly embarrassing is an understatement. Oh no, hang on. Is there something cresting there? Just about. There we go. There appears to be something going towards us. Phew! I thought I was going to have another one of those worker worries. Those worker woes that we seem to get. I thought it was going to disappear off and never come back. Okay, so this, I, I'm definitely not going to get 250,000 litres off of this. Um, but it's going to put me right up close to where I need to be for the contract for Milson's Maltings, which is pretty handy. Even if I have to reseed one of the fields and go again, um, I can do that. That's not a problem either. So that's all going well. What do we need to think about next? Nearly full grain tank. Right. I will drive. This is capable of driving onto the field. I'm going to have to let it stop because I can't actually turn this round to run alongside it without going all the way around the edge of the field. And Let's head down the full grain tank. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. Plenty of grass to cut. I've got hay bales that I need to do for other contracts. For Adam, for... Cody, um, I've got a hay contract that just says 150,000 litres. Um, now, obviously, with the update, I could just go and buy 150,000 litres of hay and transport it, but I'm not going to because the contract was given to me pre that pre the update. The point was I was supposed to be making um, 150,000 litres of hay and transporting it. I think that contract I'll get. 40, that was from Mark, 40 cows I think it was um, and Mark messaged me yesterday he said the cows were ready to ship uh, no hassle, he wasn't hassling me for the hay but, so like I say, I could just go and buy 150,000 litres of hay but what's the point, you know if it's for a contract I've got to put some effort in admittedly with the equipment that we've got up at um, Plumpton from Adrian the, uh, the silage king of Sussex um, he's got that Chrome Big M, so when I say I've got to put some effort in. 
not as much effort as with some vehicles, obviously. So, while that carries on then, um, over to the next job. That's going to be moving that first load of bales. That needs to go down to the docks. And that'll be for Yellow Hammer. So that'll be the first 24. Oh, the sun's starting to go down. It'll start getting dark soon. Anyway, so, like I say, I've taken the first 20-something came off of field 26. The rest of the bales are here. Field 11 is done. It was well worth extending it out and using G1 to use as part of an, an arable field. So I've got quite a few off of this one. 66, like I say, in total. And then whatever bales I get off of field 20. So I reckon I'll hit 100. 24 on here. down to the docks and the first 24 unloaded I have got to be so careful because these trailers whilst they work incredibly well having that single front axle they do have a tendency when you turn sharply to rock literally rock and roll now interestingly I haven't done the uh, I haven't removed collisions on the hedges I say interestingly, I just haven't got round to it. Um, I could do, because to be fair, and this is kind of one of those sneak peek into the, you know, the mind of um, a YouTuber, that when I'm making videos, obviously, the quicker I can get around a map, when I'm doing stuff off screen, saves me so much time when I'm setting up a map, when I'm transporting things, when I'm taking things. On screen, you know, you're going to do it all above board and and that realistically you're going to stick to the road you're going to stick to the tracks and stuff like that but let's be honest i don't think any of us are fooled by the fact that off screen people do whatever they need to to get the job done so i just i haven't changed it to be fair i mean i could cut across here now not across the fields obviously but i'm pretty sure <sighs> That very nearly would have made the blooper reel at the end. That was so close. Right, it's note to self, slow down before turning. I only said it, what, two minutes ago? Anyway, so with Jim changing a lot of these and leaving gaps in, and these were already here, I think, but anyway, leaving gaps in um, hedges and things like that, there are loads of different routes across the map, but just taking the collisions off means you can, you can if, if you wanted to, make life a bit easier for yourself. Yeah. I do have lots and lots of people asking me can I do um, a series of videos or a video on how I make a video um, and I don't want to sound big headed or you know it's a it's quite a I say it's a complicated process you just record what you're, what you're doing editing it then can be a little bit trickier especially share factory can be complicated to use uh, it's taken me quite a while to get to the point I am now where I can do it fairly quickly. Um, but if you want to video well and edit well, you have to think ahead about how and where you're going to put your breaks in your, in your clips and how you're going to edit bits together. So, and I don't want to spoil the magic of it. You know, it's that weird... I don't think anybody's tricked by any of it. They know, you know, there's a certain amount of leeway used when you're doing the Let's Play. And when you're doing your video and when you're doing your editing but I don't want to show all of that being done it's like the magician showing their showing how to do a magic trick you know I I don't know maybe that's just me being a bit you know I thought the word is really prissy pretentious uh, so I need that one done now I need I've got to remember which one it is there we go now unload. Hmm, that's peculiar. Unload, unload. Fantastic, right, so first 24 done, like I say, the rest of them are going to come down here, there'll be 100 in total, so when I've finished doing all of those, and when they're all loaded up, 
um, I'll come back down here I think when I'm on the last load and show you the 100 like I say I'm not going to do a dodgy I'm not going to claim later on oh yeah I did a hundred did you not see them I wouldn't do that to you this is also leased by the way this trailer the auto load square bale one like I say because I'm not going to do square bales a lot um, it's only least I haven't bought this one. It's only twelve thousand to buy, but didn't need to. Right. I'll see you in a bit when a few more of these jobs are done. Hopefully it's not gonna be too dark either. We shall see or not see, depending on how dark it is, obviously. So while well, the harvester does its thing, um, I'm just going to make some more bales. I've got 66, so I need 34. Um, like I say, we did drop it down to 75 bales, but my original contract was for 100, so I've got plenty of straw swap. It's not going to be a problem. So once I hit 34, we'll be fine. Now you already saw at the start me doing this, you've seen a little bit of video, I'm just showing you me doing it again, just... I'm doing it as part of the episode. Now I generally speaking, kind of do what I just did. I will miss a row, do a row, miss a row. So I do every other one, simply because the turning circle, I could do a big swing round and a big loop and there's no point. I just do the turning circle of the tractor, do the next one over, next but one over, um, and then um, when you get to the end, you then do all the other ones on the way back over. So you do them all in the end. Grain tank is full again. It's good, the yield off this is pretty good. I'm rather impressed at the moment. I could have done the entire field, but I did want to get a sugar cane into one. Get to the end here, and Carl stop the baler, unload the harvester, let that carry on. The whole process can continue. So. Actually, it would have been easier if I'd have done the <laughs> baler first, rather than just turn the ignition off. I'm sure that's probably not good for the uh, the baler at all. I could be using an auger wagon to do this, I could be using a tractor and trailer, I, you know. I did an auger wagon on the Valley Old Farm recently. And I think when I do an American map, the auger wagon thing's going to be a more realistic, I guess is probably the way to put it. I mean, not everyone will use auger wagons. Sometimes people just drive their trailer into a field. Um, I know from watching how farms work, from watching Welker farms, um, online that a lot of the times it's auger bins auger wagons or the harvester goes over to where the actual the semi semi truck trailer combination is parked up so I don't know. anyway right so this will continue just showing you that I'm doing it
Right, I've uh, applied some twisted logic, and it's, it's you know the way I normally do. Um, I was going to supply 100 bales. The contract was originally 100, but dropped to 75. So I said I'll do 100. Then it suddenly dawned on me that trailer will take 24 bales at a time. If it took 25, four trailer loads would be 100. It only takes 24. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to supply 96 bales. Is that right? Yeah, 96 bales. Which means I don't have to do 34 more, I need to do 30. So, at the moment, I've got 28 bales created in this session. And there should be two in the spout. Which should put me at 30 bales. Add that to the 66, that's 96 bales. The rest of the straw swaths can be collected and that can be put into storage. So that will be my 100 square bales for, for yellow hammer ag. They will be collected, they'll be taken down to the docks. That does work, doesn't it? My mass is right. Yeah, of course it is. 425s are 100, but they're only 24 per trailer, so that's one bale less per trailer. That's four bales off of 100, which takes me down to 96. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is, why am I doubting myself? What's the matter with char? Right, okay. The baler can go back, don't need that now. Um, the Fiat Agri can go back down to the um, market garden, where I'm sure it's got plenty of work to be getting on with. And avoid the bog. So I'm down at the docks, second load of bales is down here. I made a mistake, I've just been back in to check my messages. Clay from Yellow Hammer Ag, when we renegotiated, it was 350,000, not 250,000 for, well, he said 75 bales, but I'm going to give him 96. Um, so I've had 125 already, because I've in my head I thought it was 250. So I split that in half. Half the contract already done, half the contract to do, but it was actually 350,000 he offered me. So once I put the 96 on the dock here, to be shipped that'll be another 225,000 to be paid which is a bit of a result um, that'll probably be done by morning so this will go up and I'm going to collect some more and overnight I'll take those down make sure they're all down by the dock ready for shipment in the morning um, I also checked on my contract for canola that was with um, Drake at Best Waffle Gaming and Drake wanted 40,000 litres of uh, canola to be taken to the uh, to Waffles Diner. I'm not sure, I don't think Waffles Diner is here on this map, um, so I'm assuming that will go down to the docks as well to be shipped. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take this back to the farm. Um, I've got a full load out of field 20 of barley, 59,000 litres. That needs to go off to um, somewhere. Where's that need to go off to? Uh, Milton's Maltings. Mind is just blanking every couple of seconds. <coughs> um, so that will go, and the I think the harvest has got like a strip and a half left to do. So I'll probably get about another eight, nine thousand litres off that. So that will be a total of about sixty-eight thousand litres, maybe. Um, that's not bad if that field. Which I should be on really. Um, yeah, so we're also going pretty well. I think what I'll do is maybe the start of the next episode was up and get I'll get the last of the barley off of field 20 I'll go up and collect the last of the barley from the grain bin up by field 1 and 2 and that'll be all the barley collected that I've got at the moment and then I'll see where I stand with how much I've got and then um, I'll take the canola down to the docks as well ready for Drake and then I all should be down at the dock ready for, ready for clay at Yellowhammer, so yeah, contracts are going well. I've still got sugar beet to do, I've got potatoes to do, I've got wheat to do for the uh, for the windmill, I've, uh, what else I've got, manure load to do for Cameron, um, what else, yeah, there's loads, there's tons to do, I'm not going to run out any time soon. Or at least I don't think I will. The 
challenge problem with these auto load trailers is there are so many different controls for all the different things without having the, the screen up in the left hand corner I'll just try to remember what it is I think it's L1 and square there's L1 and triangle well it's neither, neither of those um, there we go This again is considered to be quite cheaty, but I've, I've done loads of Let's Plays and lots of episodes where I've loaded bales manually, and then there's the auto, the Arcusin auto stack, and you know there's various different trailers that do this. Just showing a different way of doing it, really. Be nice to have an auto stack trailer for pallets and things like that, because they can take quite a while. Everything on this field. Field 26 and field 11 are going to need either slurrying or manure, muck spreading or something. So we'll field 20 before I replant. Reseed. It's interesting, I was watching Welker Farms the other day and Nick Welker was saying he was playing on the kind of first look version of the Welker Farms map. And he did kind of like a live stream of him doing it and uh, he was looking into the, the uh, menu and he said it says under there sewing machines so, but obviously in the US they call them planters we often call them seeders and I think they call them seeders planters sewing machines is quite an old term it's, quite an, it's uh, not you know it is for sowing seeds but generally speaking I guess they're called seeders or planters these days oh where am I going oh yeah down to field 20 I have to have a think for a minute I should have strapped these on shouldn't I I'm sure someone will comment and say, well, you didn't put the straps on. So this will be the third load of 24. If, I'm, if my numbers are right, when I do the last load, it should be 24 exactly with no bales left on the field. And I do say if, because it doesn't always work that way. There you go, I slowed down for that turn. onto these on. One more. We've got 24. What happened there? Right, so nothing right. Unload, unload there. Fasten the straps. Brilliant. Okay. Now we're good for transport. Off to the docks with this load. Ah, uh, who was I kidding? I couldn't wait till the morning. Right, the canola is out of this grain silo up between field one and two. 45,000 litres. The contract was for 40,000 litres. I'm going to take this down to the dock. This is for Drake Best Waffle Gaming. Um, I assume it will be collected. Actually, you better put the cover on. And hopefully, by the time we get down to the dock as well, there will be a couple of contracts complete. As far as it goes with barley, I've expended every avenue of barley that I've got. And I think I'm up to about 318,000 litres of barley is now in Milton's Maltings, opposite the brewery. Um, so I'm shy by about 180,000 litres, thereabouts 182,000 litres. Um, so next growing season, I need to plant a load more. 
um, that was never going to be a quick and easy contract to complete but I'm not too uh, not too concerned I have to say 318,000 litres is not bad going get super speedy on this and be laughing the harvest is done on field 20 uh, that'll be moving off to uh, I don't know next I think maybe I know I've done barley and it'll be another kind of similar harvest but wheat um, up at field 15 so I need to do the contract for the windmill um, again I'm not sure how much I'm going to get off that I thought oh that'll be an easy one I'll get loads but I, I don't think I need to check, check the contract size I can't remember how much they wanted now but Again, that might be a two-season job kind of thing. I know I'm not running seasons, but in my head, when I do a harvest of the fields, that's kind of one season done. If I have to reseed and go again, that's the second season, if that kind of makes sense. I know the landscape's not changing, but that's how it works. When I sell the grain silo that's up between one and two, I'll get twelve and a half thousand back on that. Um, I'm not going to take any money for this because I got paid for the contract on field one. Um, I did the contract. I got the canola off the field by putting that grain bin there. So I'm not going to take a payment. I was offered fifty thousand pounds for forty thousand liters. But I got paid, I think, around that, actually. Was it 38 and 12 or something? 38 and 16, or it was something like that. I can't remember now, off the top of my head. But as you can see, all 96 bales are also here. They're done, which means my contract for clay at Yellow Hammer Ag is now complete. So hopefully by morning, with a bit of a money transfer, once this is shipped, I should have another 225,000 in the bank, plus the 12,500 for uh, selling that grain bin. We're doing all right, so let's pull this over. That will need to be collected. Actually, lights off. I'll leave the uh, the Oshkosh there because I'm going to need it to take the trailer away later anyway. So not a bad day's work. We've got a lot done. That trailer can go back. Don't need that anymore because that's for square bales only. I tend to do square bales a lot, that's why I decided on this map I'm going to do predominantly round bales. Plus I bought the Coon Baler wrapper which means it gives me kind of more options. So it's all good, not bad at all. Very happy. I want to take this back. And like I say, if you're finding it hard to see, if I go in a little bit closer then you have the lights on the tractor. But anyway, um, that's the end of this episode. Next episode will be hopefully starting fresh in the next morning with loads more to do and I mean loads more because I'm in my head running through all the different contracts I've got things that need to be done check on the animals, check on the greenhouses make sure everything's topped up and everything's as it should be um, if you have enjoyed this episode give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.